Okay, now you see these stronger roots going down, which you want to look at, and I may have ripped some off. Where are the hair roots? And do you see many, here's some, some hair roots that are down deep. Mm -hmm. My point being though, you've got roots deep, but how many inches of feeder roots? 300 PSI. These can still grow through it, but the fine hair roots have trouble. But you just look at all the mass of roots. This is, is this what you were expecting to see? Yeah. Now you, you deep rip this? Yeah. What, what should the size of the root be? Do you like this? Size of the plant. Define that. I don't know. You mean the, 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 the mass? The mass or the, the length of it? I think that one looks good. Well, and everything's relative. Here's something else to think about. Not being anything other than myself. They say that there's so much more technology in farming. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, the seed has more technology. Everything's so fantastic. It's like, I remember back in the 70s, Dad had a Minneapolis Moline four-star super with an 04 row planter, John Deere planter. We planted 15, 13 to 15,000 plants and got 70 to 80 bushel corn. What are we planting? What are we getting? He didn't have $10,000 invested in that tractor or planter. Mm -hmm. So now we've doubled the seed, we just about doubled the yield, but here's my point. One ear, and they're saying, you get an ear in every stock. Well, you should have. Mm -hmm. Years and years ago, George Washington wrote in his diary, he said, I fear for the future of our country, for we're down to three and four ears of corn per stock. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, we'll give you one for every stock. Well, every node is an opportunity. You're not going to get two ears out of that small of a root base. You, you, you get one really nice ear, but they only want to give you one because they want to sell you seed. Mm 